what are people doing these days? What is sort of the science and the research these days trying to make sense of terrorism and the sort of cultures that give rise to them and the sort of ideologies that give rise to them? A number of basic dichotomies. One is a camp that views it as always abnormal sociopathic behavior. Another is a camp that just views terrorism as extremes of ideology. The first one is much more about individual dysfunction. Ooh, this is a neuropsychiatric problem, perhaps. The second one is one more a feature of cultures that have extremely strong ideologies. So that's one division in there as to how to think about it in the community. Another division is really interesting, and it's one, my reading of this literature, that has totally thrown people in the field for a loop. Forever, there has been a profile, a demographic and psychological profile, of individuals who are terrorists all the way back to the people who did the Boston Tea Party in this country, the IRA, all sorts of stuff like that, the Haganah, which was in Israel, terrorist acts before independence, studied in a whole bunch of these that there tends to be a rather consistent profile of these individuals who would be terrorists. Young, male, socially isolated, socially unaffiliated in terms of relationships, relatively uneducated background, history of childhood abuse, and another factor which has just completely slipped my mind. What was it? Oh, you all know. Okay, so that's exactly what you find in these folks, a picture of isolated sociopathic individuals who already have a history of antisocial behavior. These are people who, if they hadn't stumbled into this cause, would be spending their time mugging old ladies. That would be that profile. And you look at these various groups, and that has been a consistent one. Terrorism in the recent years, particularly Middle East fundamentalists, is a completely different profile. It is not young men. It tends to be educated, well-off people in their 30s and 40s. Overwhelmingly middle class or upper class backgrounds. Next, it's not just middle-aged males, it's females. It's women to a much higher extent than seen in any previous sort of population dealing with terrorism. Next, what you see is these are individuals who on the average tend not to have had any direct exposure to the uh, suppression that they are fighting against as opposed to the sociopathic model, a classic picture with IRA gunmen, the father was taken away by the whoever's, shot, never came back again, and they were passed on the family mantle. The current picture, this very different one, no direct experience of the persecution. Finally, tending not to have particularly high levels of religiosity. And this is this very contemporary profile where you get these 40-year-old engineers who are suicide bombers where they go home, they say goodbye to their families, they make a videotape sort of wishing everybody well, and after having quit their job and paying the rent one extra month, and off they go and blow themselves up. People, I sense in the field, haven't a clue how to make sense of what this is about. Very new challenging feature. One interpretation. One is of a school pushed by people like Phil Zimbardo here in the psychology department, incredibly influential psychologist, who as a general theme over the years has argued for the stance that under the right circumstances, under the right coercive circumstances, virtually anybody could do anything that is appalling. Zimbardo who did the famed Stanford prison study. The other view is Okay, this isn't a lesson that anybody could wind up being this violent if, look at them, they're an engineer and they've got a master's degree and all of that. Instead, it is simply an outcome of a lot of what terrorism is about these days, a very novel world of international terrorism. Rather than within country, suddenly you have a world of people who need to be able to do things like get passports and fly elsewhere and be able to navigate customs and things of that sort. It is suddenly selecting for a more sophisticated population of individuals. 
you know, the jury's out on all of this, but this seems to be a very challenging thing for that field.